In the last five to 10 years, the advancements in technology and tools and pads and compounds, all of us, we've gotten really good at removing paint defects. We can get deep ones out faster than we ever could before. But the contemporary challenge is on the finishing side. Many of us are challenged with trying to finish out paint at a high quality level. We're gonna talk about how to get that done better and faster. Stay tuned. All right, so one of the most impactful things you can immediately do to improve your finishing capabilities on soft paint, finicky paint, uh, haze prone paint, is you can adjust your liquid and your pad to really get a different result that's customized for that paint finish. Our recommendation is our Uno Pure and our ultra fine white foam pad. Now Uno Pure was specifically made for this purpose. I mean, it's an ultra fine finishing polish, but it really is targeted towards finicky paint, problem paint, challenging paint, and haze prone paint. It's a way to really take the liquid in the pad and get the best result possible as much as the paint's going to cooperate. So why is finishing paint to an ultra fine level a challenge for people? Well, one of the realities of the variable of paint is that paint hardness can be on the hard side, could be medium, and it could be very soft. And it's usually on these extremes where people have challenges on finishing. Very, very soft, very, very hard. This is where the headache comes in and we're trying to finish at a high level. And even with individuals and companies and professional detailers that polish cars on a daily basis, they would have noticed that the paint technology has changed over the years and even decades. So continuously, the car companies and the paint manufacturers are changing the chemistry of paint, changing the application of paint. And what this does for people polishing on paint is that, you know, you're used to a certain pad and a liquid combo, and then all of a sudden it doesn't work the way it used to. So this is why we're challenged with the finishing side. All right, so beyond the liquid and the pad combination, here are some tips that can help you finish better when you're challenged with these uh, finicky haze prone paints. The number one thing that you can do to immediately impact finishing in a positive way is to clean the pad. Now what happens here is we're removing defects, probably on soft paint. That pad load is happening at a much, rap much more rapid rate. So that means our frequency of pad cleaning needs to be increased. So pad cleaning, number one thing, you can immediately get better finishing. Now, since that's the number one most impactful thing you can do, I'll refer you to another video that Dylan did for you all about pad cleaning. Now, the other adjustment you can make is on your application technique. And here's a quick few things that you can adjust to get better finishing. The one that has the most impact on technique is probably your cycle time. Uh, the general tendency on finicky paints or soft paint is that we overwork the paint. So we need to reduce our cycle time. Probably a 10, 15 second application is sufficient to finish on this type of paint condition. Now a short cycle like this, that's 10, 15 seconds, it might feel a little uncomfortable because it's not typical. It's not what most people do. And your probably cycle time you know, is, is much longer than that. You're probably going 30, 45, maybe minute or more cycle time. So um, trust us on this, give it a shot evaluate how it impacts your finishing. Another technique adjustment you can do is to adjust the downward pressure. And since we're sensitive to trying to prevent overworking the paint, we would lighten up our pressure. We would actually not push down as hard. And this will result a lot of times in better finishing. We can also look at speed. And by that, we mean the tool speed and your arm speed, how fast you're moving the polisher back and forth. The technique we'd like to recommend for finicky paint and better finishing is to reduce the tool speed and increase your arm speed, actually move that polisher across the surface at a little bit faster rate. By making these adjustments in speed, it actually reduces the number of orbits per minute across this paint. So the net effect is that you're working the paint less. And speaking of how we're working the paint, 
the actual tool you're using might be contributing to this challenge that you're experiencing on these finicky and soft paints. So in other words, the tool movement itself could be working against you. For example, if you're using a rotary or a gear-driven force rotation orbital, you may want to switch to a random orbital, completely changing the actual movement on the paint, and that may really help a lot. Now, if you're using a random orbital, you might want to consider adjusting the orbit size because again, we might be actually overworking the paint with a large orbit. So we can, if you're using the 21 millimeter, for example, we can step down to the 15 millimeter or even go to the Duetto with a 12 millimeter. And this adjustment in orbit size will help you finish better. All the big foot polishers have a high degree of capability when it comes to finishing, but if you find yourself on these problem paints, these finicky paints, the sticky paints, the haze prone paints, then we might recommend you going to this Duetto. And if you don't have one of those, it might be a good thing for you to consider. So to summarize these basic tips for better finishing, first and foremost, the liquid and pad combination can really help you to finish better. And then of course, the technique adjustments, the downward pressure, the uh, speed of the tool and the arm speed. If you adjust those, you, you could get better finishing on these finicky paints. And then also the cycle time, you know, re reduce the amount of time that you're actually working on the paint. And then the movement of the tool itself might be working against you. So you may want to switch to a, a different tool movement. And all other things being the same, regardless of whatever adjustments you're doing, the number one most helpful thing that you can do with this type of sensitive paint finish is by cleaning the pad frequently. This will give you the most dramatic improvement on results. So this question did come in on my phone. Doesn't mean I'm giving you my phone number. So post your question on the comments, like and subscribe, and maybe yours will get selected for a future episode on Rupus Replies.